people, how you doing? Um, it's Sandra Lemming here and I'm going to do another um, DBL Site Builder WordPress website um, tips tutorial for you. So when you build and create your, your very first website in the DBL Site Builder, you end up with a post page um, which looks something like this. So it'll have a hello world. I've long since deleted that. It'll have a hello world and everything and then I'll have this ugly widget bar down the side and a lot of people want to know how um, if they can do anything with that well yes you can because this is a page builder website you can actually change this page to look something like this or even different so you can actually edit the page so you can have some sort of formatting there um, I just use colors and stuff I didn't have a picture or anything I wanted to put up there I just use colors and 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 things uh, and you can organize your blog posts like this here. So they're organized, they look nice, they're in rows. Um, this was just to show what a featured image could do um, and stuff like that, right? So well, there you go. I'm going to show you how to go from um, the page before, which was this one here. I'm going to show you how to go from this to this, right? So I'm going to show you how to go from this standard generic post page to something like this that looks a little bit more um, useful and decent, right? So now the first thing that you need to do um, for this, and I'm just going to refresh this, is you'll need to create a new page. You'll need to do a couple of things, right? So to end up being able to edit your posts page, you're going to need to do a few things. Now, firstly, if you do not have a post page, so let's go into the dashboard of our WordPress because everything, um, all the magic happens in the dashboard of our WordPress when we want to find things, right? So um, the first thing you need to do is you need to go to all pages and make sure you have a posts page. If you don't have a posts page, well, then you might want to create one, all right? But you'll need two pages. So you'll need a blog page and you'll need a posts page, right? This was the sample page that I was showing you of what the traditional blog post page looks like. So you're going to need, um, if you'll probably have a posts page, but so you'll probably need to create a blog page. Now, once you've created the blog page, so once you have a posts page and you've created a blog page, what you need to do then is you need to go to appearance. Oh no, sorry, you need to go down to settings. So you need to come down to settings. You need to go to reading. Now remember, you have to create the pages first. And once you've created the blog page, you come to reading. And what you need to do is you need to make sure you're in a static page, make sure you've got your home page displayed, and make sure you direct your blog posts to your blog page. Okay? So redirect your blog posts to your blog page. And then scroll down and then click Save Changes. And once you've saved the changes, then you can get about dressing up your post page. So I'm going to go into pages or pages. Now for all intensive purposes, I already have a dressed up page. So I'm going to show you roughly how I created this page here. I probably won't go full blown into this. So I might see how we go. But this is my posts page. So I've got a sample post page that I'm working on, which is this one here, which looks, I'm going to just go into quick edit and I'm going to put um, sample. And I'm going to just update that. That's how you change the name of a page. If you change the name of the page, make sure you change the slug. I'm just going to update that. And for all intensive purposes, I'm going to show you how to make this sample post page beautiful. So <laughs> I'm going to click on view. 
So this is the ugly page and this is the, um, well, some people would call this ugly, but this is the designed organized page, right? So what we're going to do to make this page, uh, this page here, look like this page here, I'll show you what I did. So basically I went into um, the edit page section This is after I created the blog post page and I redirected the blog posts to the blog page. Um, and I come down here and I went no, oops, I went here, I went no sidebar. And I went into customize settings and I went forward stretched and I disabled the title. And then I went up here and I updated the settings. And once they updated, I went to view page. Now yours will probably look a little bit different because you're probably using the block editor here, Gutenberg. I'm actually using the classic editor. So I've actually gone into the WordPress plugins. So I've gone into the plugins page, I've gone add new, and I've installed the classic editor plugin. So if you like the look of mine better than the one that you've got, the block editor, and you think that this might be easier for you to work with, you'll go into plugins, you'll go into add new, and you install called classic editor plugin, right? The classic editor plugin. And then you activate it and then your pages will look more like mine. Or you can just keep the Gutenberg if you're happy with that. All right, so now we're gonna view the page and we're gonna show you how to dress up this blog post page. Right, so there you go, we've got nothing here. Um, it's just a blank canvas. It's just a blank page. So we're going to go DBL Site Builder. We're going to use a page template for this, okay? Now we need a proper blog page template for this, for things to work, you know, for properly. So, you know, just keep that in mind. You can't make the blog post page exactly the same as everything else. Well, you could, it's difficult, but there is a way to do it, okay? But it's, a, it, it, it's in the advanced um, section and I haven't got time to go into two ways of, of setting up your blog post page. I'm just going to show you the standard way of setting up a blog post page that's simple that even beginners can follow. So once this is opened, right, so once you're in the editor, you want to click on templates. You want to go into landing pages. You want to go into content pages. You want to scroll down till you find the blog pages. Here they are. So you've got blog grid or blog gallery, either one, it does not really matter. Um, I'm going to go blog grid because that's the one that I used on my page and I told you I'd show you how to create my page. So there you go, I just let that finish loading that template and here's the template for you, just like this. I can click on this here um, and I can, you know, I can do whatever I want here. So at the moment I've got a black background. I don't want a black background. So I want to change that black background. So I'm going to come down here um, to style. Scroll down for with fixed. Yeah, that'll do for with fixed. I'm going to come down here and I'm going to change this. Now there's, you know, there's several things you can do here. Okay. Um, just going to close that. You can have a color, right? You can have a gradient color. Um, you can have a photo, you can have a video, you can embed a thing, you can have a slideshow, you can have parallax, you can have ultimate gradient, um, you can have an animated background if you want an animated background. But I'm just going to show you what I did with mine. I just went with a color. Um, let's do something slightly different. Let's go. Um, Actually, let's go a gradient color, right? So let's get rid of that and let's go gradient. There we go. Um, and let's go, brown there. Let's go blue there. And you can have radial if you want. See, you can do that. 
any guidelinia. Um, change things like that. Um, you can change things here like this. So you can bring it all the way around. You can put brown on top or you can bring it all the way around and put brown on the bottom. There we go. 360 will go brown on the bottom. Um, Bring the blue down a little bit more. There we go. So that's how I did that. Um, then I went a um, top shape. I went down here and I think I'm pretty sure I went at the top. I went um, You can do anything at the top here. So you can go waves if you want. And you'll see you create waves there. Um, you can change the width of the waves if you want. See? So they're the type of things you can do here. Pretty easy. Fool around with it. Just fool around with the things there. There's a concave. Um, do a slanted edge. Right. Um, and you can move the slanted edge. You can go, you know, uh, top left, right, and you can, um, you know, you can. There's just so many things that you can do, right? Um, it's entirely up to you what you do. You, you can change the color then, so you could change the color of that. Um, going to here, there you go. You can. Uh, Light and colours, dark and colours. It's entirely up to you what you do. So we'll just leave that at that for the moment. Um, the bottom shape, you can do the same in the bottom shape. You can come down to the bottom shape. You can select a bottom shape. You know, there's some stuff in there that you can select. It's entirely up to you what you want to do. You've got, you know, topography. You can have a look at topography. You've got spots and things. Just, you know, it's entirely up to you as to what you do, right? So we'll just save that as that. Do something weird and abstract. Um, and then, you know, then I'll come here and I'm going to do some edits here. So I'm going to go here and I'm going to go to general um, and I'm going to leave that there. I'm going to delete that there. Um, I'm going to put my journal. I might put on my diary. Okay. And I will change the color of that to white and see if I can get it to stand out better. Yep, there we go. And we will save that there. All right. So there, that's got that done up the top there. I'm quite happy with that. I mean, I can make it bigger if I want. I can go in here and um, I'll show you how to make this top part bigger because it's a little bit narrow, the band. So we'll come into here. And we'll go into advanced and we'll go to the padding here and we'll just bump this up a bit here at the top and go go 100 at the top and we'll go 100 at the bottom. There we go. And we'll go back to the style 
go back down to the background gradient, bottom shape, bottom shape style. We will um, do a gradient and we will go um, yellow and green. There we go. And we'll save that. There we go. So we've gone all arts and fartsy there. I mean, it's just a matter of having a look around in your modules and stuff. You know, you'll probably want to upgrade an image or something like that. So then we'll come down here and I'll scroll over the outer one here. And I'm just going to go here and open that up in style. And I'm going to full width it. Boom. Um, I'm going to full width that as well. Boom. Um, and then I'm going to pretty much leave it as is. I can put a nice background color behind there if I want. Um, I can go into effects and I can have a look at effects. I've got a top row separator, a bottom row separator. So, you know, I can separate the rows if I want, but I'm going to go to style. And I'm just going to put a, um, a light passive background here. I might go color and I might go down to the color here and I might click on uh, color and I might go... So you can have the colour as dark or as light as you want. It's entirely up to you. I just want a slightly off-white colour. That's good for me. And we're going to save that. And there you go. I'm sort of happy with how that's looking now. Okay, so I've made some changes there. So, you know, you'll want to have some blog posts, even if you just whack up sample one, sample two, put some text and stuff, just so you can see what it's going to look like once you're designing the page. Then once you've designed the page, you can then go in and add some good quality blog posts. If you've already got some blog posts, that's great. Make sure you have a featured image with the blog post. I'll show you how to do that in a second. So then you can come into the inner area here, and this is where you can change all of this stuff here. Right, so you can change the um, font, um, the sizing, or you can change all sorts of stuff. So you can have it aligned left, or you can have it aligned in the center. So if we have a look here, right? See, look at that. See how that's changed? I like align left. Um, you can change the post background color. So if you wanted to leave this white and change the post background color, you can do that there. Um, you can put borders around them. You can change the type of the border, the text, right? The title text. So you could change the title text to whatever color you wanted. Um, you know, so I could go a dark blue here. So I might go a dark blue. Um, actually, I go just so you can see. I might go a black for the title. There we go. Title text. Um, and you know, you can change this here as well. So I'm just going to click there. You can change the font. So we're going to go into font. We've got default font at the moment. So let me find something really trippy so that, um, you can see the, the extreme difference. Go down to lobster. So we're changing the title font right, right now, right? So I'm just going down to L's. Scroll really quickly. L O I want. I want. Uh, whoops. Lobster two. Here you go. So watch the titles, which are black. There you go. Right. Um, and you can change the weight here. You can change the size of the titles here if you want to.
right? You can change the line height here. And just remember to check things on your mobile section as well, right? Because whatever you're doing here, it has to look good on a mobile phone. And remember, on a mobile phone, everything stacks vertically. So, you know, click here. Um, you know, if you're going to leave that at 24, so click on your little um, spaceman here. And that's what it'll look like on a tablet. And then click on your little spaceman thing here again, your little picture. And that'll bring it down to the mobile view. Just give it a moment. Be patient. So there's the mobile view. Let me move this out of the way for you. There's the mobile view. So if I need to adjust anything on the mobile, I can. So if these titles are too big here um, on the mobile view, I can adjust them for the mobile view. And maybe just, you know, maybe go an 18 for the mobile view. Or I can go a 20 if I want, right? And then I can go back to uh, my desktop. You can click on exit up there or you can just click on the little picture here. Whichever you do, just, you know, be patient. There we go. Back to my te desktop. See, my desktop is 24 and my mobile is 20. So that's how you enjoy the pleasures of doing that there. I'm just going to change that back to something readable now. Um, might go to... Uh, recently used. I might go to veranda. Uh, no, don't like that. I might go Georgia. There we go. Um, I like that. And once you're happy with things, you know, then you can just scroll down. You can do other things, right? So we changed the title topography there, right? We did the title topography, right? Um, you can even space it away from there if you want a little bit of space in there. You can go into line height and create space, right? But I'm not going to worry about that. Um, I'm just going to click there. Um, I'm going to go down a little bit further, right? So post info color, right? So this post info color, you can change the color of that. So if you want to change that to a blue, you can sort of change it to a bluey color. Um, see, it's changing there. Let me change it to something drastic. Uh, let me go bright yellow or something. See, there you go, right? So your post info is, is by your author and stuff like that. Um, I'm just going to go back to a nice blue. Yep, that's good. And you can um, change the, t uh, the font. See, post topography info. So you can go into the font. Um, you can change the font in here. To match the title font if you want. Um, you can change the size of it here if you want. Uh, and then you can go, you can scroll down in here and you can go to your link color and you can set that up. Content topography, you can go and change the font of the content. Um, and I mean, you can have different fonts, so you can have the same font. I wouldn't put too much of a difference in things, so I might go veranda for the, there we go. So I've got veranda for the content um, stuff there. I've got a lightweight, which I'm quite happy with. I'm quite happy with the size. I'm quite happy with the alignment. Um, I don't really want to change the content color. I'm quite happy with it being black and blue. Um, and then you just click save. You can go through and have a look at all these as well, content, page nation and stuff like that. Um, just have a pl play around with them. So, all right, so that's done. So, remember I was telling you to um, have um, content, featured images for your content, right? You want featured images for your content. So, let's go to this blog post. Let's click on read more and let's open it up. So, this will actually open up. Um, oh, okay, I can't open it up. Let's just click save. So you can see you can go into the actual post and edit the post. So I'm just going to click cancel, save, whatever. There we go. I'm going to click done and I'm going to click publish. And as you can quickly see, I've designed a page there. So this was my first page that I designed. Um, like here and it's, I had a white background and I made the backs of these grey, 
right? Um, and I had a different, I played around with the ups, the tops and the bottoms there and had different things happening there. And so this one I've sort of gone, you know, artistically, you know, um, <laughs> quite crazy with it. Um, and I've got a, a coloured background now instead of a coloured background for the um, actual posts. So you see, there you go. This is different here as well. It's not as big. This is quite big here, right? Okay. So um, to add a featured image to a blog post, click on your blog post. Go into your blog post. Um, I'm going to edit this blog post. Right. So when you're in edit your blog post or when you're creating your blog post, always remember to have a featured image if you've got a nice blog page. Because a lot of the times if people don't, if the title doesn't grab them, the image might, right? So I'm going to go down here to featured images. I'm just going to close this up here so you don't get confused with the SEO stuff. I'm going to close the categories. I'm going to close the tags. You should really create categories and you should really create tags. I close all of this up here and I'm going to come down to featured image. So I'm going to click on set a featured image. So this is how to make money. So what I might do is if I haven't got an image here that I can use straight away, which I don't think I will. Um, no, I'm going to go into Pixbay here. I'm going to go orientation horizontal. I don't use verticals. I try not to use verticals if I can avoid it. Um, I'm going to go in here and I'm going to go make money and see what comes up. There we go. So we've got this, this and that. Um, that might be all right um, as a featured image. That looks a little bit weird. Um, yeah, so we might just go with that one there. Click on that, see if this one works. Right, and now this has popped up here. I'm going to click save and insert. That should work, hopefully. Save and insert. And there's the featured image there. I'm going to update it and have a look and see what that looks like. For me, like it'll be ugly, but right now it'll do for me. It'll just, it'll be fine. Um, it's just really to give you uh, an idea of what's going on with um, the tutorials here. So then I'm going to go back to pages or pages. I'm going to find this post page that I was showing you that I had built. Sample post page. I'm going to click view. And there you go. You'll see that there's the image there, right? So that's got an image there as well. This needs a new image because this image is just no good here, right? This is just... It's a vertical image, and so you're better off using horizontal images like this. Um, they just look nicer. Vertical images take up too much space. Um, and this is like, it's really pixelated. So, you know, I really need to fix that up. But um, I actually really need to just sort of delete that Hello World post there altogether. But anyway, um, there you go. So that's what that is there. I mean, you know, if you need to make edits, you just go into your DBL site builder here and you can go into your stuff and you can make edits here. Um, it all works really well. Um, so that's basically how you go from having a very bland looking post page to having a post page that looks um, pretty good like this. I mean, you can even, um, you know, you, your, your share buttons will show up on your blog posts um, as well. Um, if you have share buttons, you can add share buttons. Um, if you want to add extra down the bottom here, you can. Um, 
you know, you just need to go into DBL Site Builder and you can add a row and then an element. So, you know, um, there you go. That's how you change the post page one way. There are several other ways, but I'm going to end this video because it's too long now. Have a great day. I hope that's helpful. If you have any questions, let me know. Bye for now.